Why saltwater fish can survive in freshwater and vice versa? Saltwater fish and freshwater fish have different physiological adaptations that allow them to live in their respective environments. These adaptations are related to the osmotic balance of their bodies and the concentrations of salt and other substances in the water. Saltwater fish, also known as marine fish, have evolved to live in a high salinity environment. The water in the ocean contains a higher concentration of salt compared to the internal fluids of the fish body. To maintain the proper balance of salt and water in their bodies, saltwater fish have specialized adaptations. They have kidneys that are efficient at conserving water and extracting excess salts. They also have special chloride salts in their gills that actively pump out excess salts from their bodies. In addition, saltwater fish drink large amount of water to compensate for the water loss through their gills due to the osmosis. On the other hand, Freshwater fish live in environments with lower salt concentrations, such as rivers, lakes, and ponds. In freshwater, the salt concentration is lower than the inside of the fish body. Freshwater fish have adaptations that help them deal with the challenge of gaining enough salts and extracting excess water. Their kidneys are efficient at extracting large amount of dilute urine, allowing them to get rid of excess water. Freshwater fish do not drink water, and they actively take in salts through their gills and specialized cells in their skin. When a saltwater fish is placed in fresh water, the fresh water surrounding it has a lower salt concentration than the fish body fluids. As a result, water will move into the fish body through osmosis, causing the fish to take in too much water. This can lead to a disruption of the fish internal balance, affecting its cells, tissues, and organs. The excessive intake of water can also interfere with the fish ability to obtain enough oxygen from the water. Ultimately, these imbalances can be fatal to a saltwater fish. Similarly, if a freshwater fish is placed in salt water, the salt concentration outside the fish body is higher than that inside its body. Water will move out of the fish body through osmosis, causing dehydration and disrupting the fish internal balance. The loss of water can affect the fish cells and organs, leading to dehydration and potentially death. In summary, the physiological adaptations of saltwater fish and freshwater fish are specifically suited to their respective environments. The differences in salt concentrations and osmotic balance make it challenging for these fish to survive in the opposite type of water.